Hi! Pipe coding tools of today let you explore ideas, but don't really help with the rest of the process. So for people like you who brainstorm, who document, iterate, uh, collect feedback, and also collaborate as a team, we built Supernova. Let me show you. So the work you do in Supernova follows a regular product workflows. And so I would like to start with some exploration. Here I have some prompt that sort of describes just a lightweight team member management. So I will start from a prototype. I could also start from a different things, but we'll keep that for later. And as the prototype is creating, I will also want to provide a feedback on a feature that we have been already exploring with my team. So I will go to projects, this will work in the background, and I will go into the payment functionality that we have been exploring. Now, this is my latest iteration. This is what I have done in the past, but I'm no designer. So I've invited my designers and my product people to polish it a little bit. And so here, John has opened a new iteration, new thread as we call them, and started a parallel exploration that is connected to this main prototype. So here in the replies, they have been tagging me and bugging me all the time. Uh, but you can see that the exploration already looks better. Uh, and they do it sort of securely in this thread. Now I can also uh, sort of use the branching functionality that we have and compare the changes that they have done. So, okay, my design, not particularly amazing, but here they've polished it really well. Uh, let's see what the other exploration they've done because this is not the, uh, the only one. Uh, Honza has also opened some exploration and you can see that uh, he's uh, very hot on instant merging it. So we'll see if it's okay. Uh, yeah, looks nice, but this is really nice. Uh -huh. And this is also really nice. Okay, I, I really like this. So let's just use it. Let's promote it to our main branch so everyone uh, can benefit from it. Uh, I can again compare it. Uh, this doesn't move, but this does. Uh, I can also confirm that this works great. So I will just keep it as is uh, and just take his exploration. And now I will make it into a main exploration of this prototype. So now everyone who is working off of this prototype will have this uh, as the latest version. Now, I believe there are also some changes in the documents because in Supernova, you can also document your prototypes and your explorations and very fast as you will see. So I will go to a product requirements. Uh, I've gotten some notifications about this and open this in a full-fledged product editor. And here, uh, Honza and Johnny has asked me uh, to review some suggestions that they've put there. Uh, so yep, I like them, I, I believe them. So I will just do that. And now I have a polished prototype that we have iterated together on. And I also have a product documentation that is aligned with the prototype. But this is not all because it would be really nice if I could also give this to our developers. So for that purpose, I can just go to the export functionality and enable streaming to the MCP. All right, so now back to my original exploration. I will go to the projects uh, and you can see that it has been finished. It's actually really nice. I really like this. And one of the reasons why it always looks nice is because I'm using my own design system. So here in Supernova, we support the entirety of your design system, tokens, assets. You can even bring your own custom components. If you want to just let us know uh, and we will hook you up. But here I could select some design tokens, just link them uh, to my prototypes and then forever uh, for every prototype, they will all look the same and they will be powered by the design system. Now I will show you the most powerful feature of Supernova still. So I will switch to the documents and just let it create automatically product requirements. I will also create a sales brief and I will also create a marketing brief. And while the bots are working in the background, I will switch to a main chat and I will create another iteration that adds specific functionality. Okay, so now that the feature has finished, you can see that I can switch between the members and invites, which is great. Again, looks nice, but there is one problem because I have created the documents now, uh, the product requirements are not aligned with the prototype. So they are effectively useless. And that happens all the time, right? The product requirements always go desynced. So we have a very 
fancy functionality in Supernova, I will go again into the product requirements. I will open the full fleshed editor. And now I will say, and so now the agent is actually comparing the feature to the functionality requirements that we have provided here and will provide me suggestions uh, about what to change. So I don't have to do anything at all. Okay, and so now it has suggested many things. It is still writing, but uh, it has suggested many changes into the document because the feature is very different. It is effectively twice the size. Uh, I could just go and reject or modify some, but I will just accept them all. And now the product requirements is aligned with the prototype. And of course, you can do the other way as well. So if you change some objectives, you can update the prototype. And there we have it a full end-to-end -end production workflow uh, with about a billion other things that I couldn't really fit into this video. Now, I think working with Supernova really makes the process of building features 100 times more fast and frankly also fun. So uh, I'm sure I will see you on our platform. Enjoy!